Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again. And now you're probably wondering what is up with this angle right there. Well, because I am using the new iPhone XS I just got a couple of days ago and it looks really, really good as I just upgraded from my original iPhone 5S to an iPhone XS. And of course I found out this video could also shoot in 4K as well as shooting 24 frames per second. I'm not sure if I'm in 24 frames per second, but hey, at least it's a good quality. And I'm very happy how it turned out. And I'm also using a kickstand so I can get the right angle that I want it to be. And of course, this is the second time I ever use an iPhone. I'll rather upload a YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, especially in my trade reaction video, Chris or Robin, which actually I got some critical notes that I should use like a tripod instead rather than just using my hand when it gets all shaky. But now I got the kickstand and it's keeping the camera really, really still. And while I'm still going to do my review of Return to Oz, but now I'm going for another slide delay after I've done the Dr. Sleep trailer reaction one, as well as the uh, special inside look video of Batman and Ghostbusters 1 and 2. So now, I just figure, why not do another special inside look video? And of course, you know I love this movie, Power Rangers, the movie that came out two years ago, which I still really love to this day and will always have a special place in my heart. And I'm still praying for this movie to get a sequel. And of course, I also have the 4K Blu-ray, and I've seen this as well, and it looks really, really good. And I also tested it out on my iPhone. They, I could watch it in Dolby Vision, and it looks even more breathtaking than HDR10. Of course, this one does have Dolby Vision, but unfortunately, I can't view that version because the TV that I have in the bonus room, along with the 4K Blu-ray player, can't do Dolby Vision, so it only does HDR10. And that's fine with me, but maybe sometime later on, I'll get the Dolby Vision TV and Dolby Vision Blu-ray player, but the one on an iPhone is good enough, so. So I own the Walmart exclusive one and the 4K Blu-ray one, because you know how much I'm a big fan of the movie. And again, still praying for a sequel. But now, guess what I got? My War Power Rangers the movie from 1995. That stars Jason David Frank, Amy Jo Johnson, David Yo, Steve Cardenas, John Yambach, and Karen Ashley, as well as Paul Freeman, who you may recognize him as Belloc from Arizona Lost Ark, as here he plays Ivan News. It's directed by Brian Spicer. Just before we have uh, David Wayne and Shuki Levy, who both directed the Turbo movie, and Dean Israelite directed the 2017 reboot. So, I just bought this today at Barnes Noble for like about, pull the sticker off, 20 bucks. Which of course I had to peel this off right here, but how sticky it is. So, and of course, uh, this Blu-ray just came out a couple of weeks ago, and it does have some features. It has a look back at my more Power Rangers the movie, including new interviews with director Brian Spicer and stars Johnny R. Bosch and Paul Freeman, and more. A feature from back in the day in a trailer. So, not really much, but especially what they got, I guess it could be better than nothing. I haven't watched the features yet or watched the movie yet, but today I will later on. So without further ado, here's what the Blu-ray looks like. You have the slip cover, you have the spine, and of course, yeah, there's a little damage right there when I got to the bars and all, but it's a minor damage, but I can deal with it. And then you have the back cover. Spectacular effects and fantastic monsters, says Kevin Thomas from Los Angeles Times. Well, by comparing to this movie, folks, this one, in my opinion, has much better CG effects than the CG effects, because these effects are on the same level as Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which of course this movie came out in 1995, and that's the same year as Mortal Kombat, the movie. And I really have a nostalgic factor with this one, but of course, yeah, it's, if I had to compare between the two Power Rangers movies right here, folks, I'm definitely going to go with this one. I mean, I really like this one, but I really love this one even more because I love the story better, the characters were more developed than what the actors did in the TV show, and the acting is so much better. Well, this one is fine for what it is, and really has more of a budget to be a Power Ranger movie. I mean, this one has a budget, but still not as, as highly tech as this one is. But that's just me personally. But anyway, without further ado, I'm to pull the slip cover off. And here's the Blu-ray case, and the spine, and the back cover, and now I'm about to open it.
Okay. Open it up. Wow. Here's your disc artwork. And I pull this off right here. Look at this, folks. It looks like trading cards. You have the you have the yellow ranger here. Let's see, I could put my disc right here. I'm not scratching. Yellow ranger, red ranger, pink ranger, white ranger, blue ranger, black ranger, Ivan News, Alpha. Rita, Lord said, and Goldar. So there you have it. Very neat. Can't wait to wash this today. So there you have it. That's your special inside look of My More Power Rangers, the movie. And maybe sometime in the future, I might review this movie, especially you know how much I love Power Rangers very much. I do enjoy this movie. I do remember the Turbo movie fine. It was fine for what it is, but of course I slightly like this a bit more than Turbo. And yes, the best one is definitely the 2017 reboot. In my humble opinion. I love the original 95 movie, and I love the TV show very much, but I really love this movie. Especially, I'm a guy who loves Power Rangers. So, yeah, so that's my special inside look of my more Power Rangers movie, and let me know what you think of this video, and also... How do you feel about this iPhone and this kicks in here? Is it better than my Trevor Angel video Chris Rado where I had to keep shaking my head all the time? And what else can you say? I mean, let me know. Feel free to your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Take care and I will review Return of Oz. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.